Hello and good morning, welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Yes, I did build a team that, was, that has been showcased elsewhere on YouTube so far now. But I've been working on this type of team for a while. Didn't actually have an Aislinn until I got a lucky pull yesterday with a single shard. And uh, basically, yeah, it's the, the whole Ironclad clan boss thing. We're going to show you my version of the team which is slightly different but there is an original version of the team that we did have planned before but i don't actually have i needed a crisp i don't have a crisp for that but the wicks were really filled in the slot so i thought i'd still throw the team together and show you the damage i'm not going to show the whole run because it is very long and boring it doesn't really do anything until right at the end so <laughs> i'm gonna skip i'm gonna show you the start the build up and then we're gonna skip right to the end and we will see how it goes okay guys Let's see you at the end. Okay, so the team is double Wixwell. Uh, we have another extender, which is Glazier, Aislinn, and Ironclad. We're going to go into the fight and show you just a, how it starts off. So we start off by throwing out a shield with our first Wixwell, and then we extend the shields straight away with our second one. We throw out some resistance increase. And we get attack up from the ironclad. We just need certain number of buffs to actually be able to extend the shields as much as we need to do as as early as we can, right? So we have double shields from a shield set and the shield that was put out. So we have two shields that we can grow at the same time. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you use the bolster, you can't extend the shield. So you need to use the shield sets. A lot easier to use anyway so and more and more available we basically turn off Aislinn's A2 and his A3 and we let Ironclad run however he wants there's no healing on the team anyway and we'll skip to the end right okay actually I wanted to show you guys how much damage the clan boss is doing along the way we're at 1250 turns He's doing 808,000 damage on the slam hit to Ironclad, and then he's doing he's doing like 600,000 on the A1, this, on the A2 really, or the A3, the A3, shit, I need to learn these moves. I call it the A1 because it's the first AoE hit, and then he did 2 million damage on his A2, it was insane, it was insane, it didn't even nudge the shields at all, 2 million damage. Okay, so we're here at the end now, so we show you the damage again, over 2 million still, it doesn't even touch us, we grow the shields one last time, then we're going to switch into into auto, we use Aislinn's heal here, look at the numbers, I don't know how to use it, so try to click places, he did 2 million healing to every single person, which then reflected at 12 at 1.2 billion damage 1.2 billion damage like from a 2 million heal that's insane but that's huge that's huge or was it even that it says that Aislinn actually did 10 billion HP's worth of healing ironclad 1.2 billion damage everyone else doing their modest amount of damage they can't keep up so should this be nerfed you can use this team in Hydra and it still works there should it be nerfed i don't think it should be i think that it should be left in because the more variety you add to the game the like more fear it is right you still need an acelin i'm pretty sure less people have acelin than they have trenda so why worry too much about this team being too good it is too long a build up trenda still does more damage than this faster right an hour an hour to do 1.2 billion damage that's slightly faster than some clan boss runs i even see out there you know and you have to hope that they don't three percent a shield off at any at any given time and you know there's just all sorts of different things that could go wrong with hydra so i don't think that it should be nerfed i think it should be okay to be left like that okay anyway thank you for enjoying the video guys and we will see you on the next one if you like the footage drop a like and subscribe and there are plenty of other content that we're putting out in the future we'll see you there bye